Alright, hello guys, how's it going? In today's video, we're going to be talking about who could see snowfall this October. We're going to be going over our snowfall anomaly forecast here from Direct Weather. Also, the European models forecast for snowfall, the exact amount of snowfall they think is going to happen. And also, we're going to be taking a look at a few years past and just see what they were taking a look at as far as snowfall in October. Now, before I get started with this video, though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do the weather-related content. And also, make sure to share this video with your friends, family, and social media. I'd also ask that you check out our very exciting patreon page in the description and the pinned comment down below for today's comment of the day i want to know have you ever seen snowfall in october and if you have let me know where you're at and what it was like tell me about the event and i'll be picking one of those for tomorrow's video now let's get into this video and first things first we're taking a look at that temperature forecast on our cfs model for the month of october and as you can see out west we are anticipating some above normal temperatures out there for most of the western united states and then for a lot of the eastern united states we're expecting near normal conditions although for the southeast and portions of the mid-atlantic we are anticipating below average temperatures and i think it's going to actually be a bit more widespread than what this model is showing here so most of the eastern united states is going to be where you're going to see the colder the normal conditions however we are going to take a look at this on week by week increments coming up soon later in the video and that's going to tell a lot of the story because there is going to be some opportunities for some colder than normal conditions out west as well although most of the month should be above normal temperatures so what we're going to do here is we're going to move on and we're going to take a look at the precipitation forecast from the same model for the month of October. Now, obviously, the two things that are the most important for snowfall is going to be the amount of precipitation you're going to get as well as the temperatures. So we just went over the temperatures. Let's talk a little bit about that precipitation. And there's two areas here that are above average, and then we have a very widespread area of some pretty below average conditions, although this, this model is going to change its views a little bit. I think the two things that it's strongest, most confident in is that above average precipitation out there in the northwest. I think that's very likely as well as that interior northeastern United States above average precipitation. The dry in the southeast is very typical for a La Nina, so I do expect that to be the case. Obviously, that's not going to play a role in October snowfall at all, uh, but I do think that that's one of the more likely things this model is calling for as well. So with the two areas of above average precipitation out there in areas that also up there from the northeastern United States are going to be anticipating near average or below average temperatures, is likely going to lead us to believe that there's an above average chance for snowfall this October. Now, also for the northwestern United States, although we were calling for some above average temperatures there, according to the CFS model, you do have the above average precipitation and a lot of those mountainous regions are going to be well below freezing, even with the above normal temperatures. It's so cold there. Uh, on the mountaintops and high elevation regions that I don't think that's going to be too much of a factor. I still think you will see some above average snowfall for a lot of those regions as well. What we're going to do here is we're going to move on and we're going to start talking about who could see snowfall in October according to my when to expect your first snowfall uh, video that I made maybe about a month or two ago. I'm going to take some of those frames from that video and we're going to talk about the ones that specifically pertain to October. Now, real quickly, I did want to talk about how much snowfall we've seen so far this season. And we've had one really big snowstorm, actually, and this was the total snowfall from that one. As you can see, we saw snowfall in Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, uh, South Dakota, Nebraska, Colorado, Kansas, New Mexico, and Utah. Uh, we saw quite a bit in those reds and oranges. That was 6 to maybe 24 inches of snow, so a quite large early September snowstorm. We haven't seen much snowfall in the lower 48 states since then, uh, and this was an above average amount even for the entire month of September. Now, here was our forecast for who will get snow before November, and in this pink shade, the very top shade there, uh, that's all the areas that expect to see snowfall in September and October. So, if you're in these pink regions, so mountainous regions there in Washington, Oregon, California, as well as along Nevada and Idaho. Central Idaho gets a lot as well. Portions of Montana, Wyoming, Utah, Colorado as well. We see northern regions there of Minnesota, uh, the upper peninsula of Michigan, and then the very mountainous regions up there of the interior New England states and northeastern states there, upstate New York. So the Adirondacks, the Green Mountains, the White Mountains, and then interior Maine. 
all anticipate to see snowfall during the month of October. So all of those pink regions, basically. All right, now what we're gonna do here is we're going to move on and we're gonna talk about how much snow we saw last October. So we're gonna take a look at that because that could be a key indicator to how much we could expect to see this year. And then we're gonna start taking a look at that temperature forecast on the CFS week by week. So we can see when there could be some windows of opportunities for certain areas to see snowfall. All right, now first things first, here's that total snowfall from last October. And as you can see, the mountainous regions of the Pacific Northwest saw tons of snow, as well as the Rockies. We also saw some pretty far south there in Texas and Oklahoma, as well as throughout the Dakotas and then the upper Midwest. We saw a huge snowstorm up there during the month of October. Later in the month, I think it was after the 20th, and that was a very major one, as you can see. I think that's actually indicating 30 inches plus there. Uh, in some of those bluish shades or grayish shades inside that pink. So a lot of snowfall occurred there. Now, what we're going to do here is take a look at those seven-day increments on our CFS model. So first things first, here is uh, the 29th of September, so the very end of September through the 6th of October. And it's going to be very cold in the eastern United States, although it's very hard to get a lot of snowfall this early on in the month for the Great Lakes or the northeastern states. Although I have seen the potential for maybe a little bit of snowfall in Wisconsin or the upper peninsula of Michigan, perhaps Minnesota during this time frame, although it's very, very far fetched. Let's take a look at the, th the very end of the month here. And as you can see, uh, we actually see some colder than normal temperatures move in for the Pacific Northwest. And that could be a window of opportunity where we could see some snowfall there. Also, the eastern United States is still dealing with these colder than normal conditions. This later in the month, so the very, very end of October, could be a bigger opportunity for some snowfall throughout the upper Midwest, Great Lakes, perhaps the northeastern United States. So we'll have to see if that is the case. Uh, this is obviously a little bit further out, so the confidence is a bit lower, although I think uh, colder in the east, warmer in the west should dominate most of the month. So it is very likely we see a pattern of those sorts. All right, now what we're going to do here is we're going to move on and we're going to take a look at the European weekly models forecast for the entire month of October. It's snowfall forecast and we'll take a look at how much it's calling for. Take this one with a grain of salt, guys, because it is obviously just one model and it's very, very hard to predict the exact amount of snowfall this far out. But we're going to take a look at that in just a moment. So here we are taking a look at that European weekly model, 32 day snow forecast starting out on October 1st. So that's going to get us all the way to November 1st. And as you can see, uh, we do expect to see snowfall according to this model throughout the Rockies, which is very typical. Uh, we also see some potentially for the upper Midwest, the Great Lakes, the Northeastern United States being possible. Keep in mind, this is an ensemble model. So this is taking multiple opinions. That's why you see some of the grays reach really, really, really far south. I would ignore most of the light grays because that's very low confidence type situation. But the darker grays could indicate an area where the models are a little bit more confident that there could be a minor snowfall event within those regions like there in between Wisconsin and the upper peninsula of Michigan. I would say there's probably a pretty good chance that you guys could see snowfall at some point during uh, the month of October, as well as the Adirondacks and the northern portions of Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine as well. It's very, very typical to get snowfall uh, that time of year, especially later in the month, as well as Washington, Oregon, the mountainous regions there. You can see they expect to see some snowfall throughout the month, as well as California, potentially. That's if we can get some precipitation down there. What we're going to do here is we're going to take a look at some other Octobers in years past. Here is the October of 2018, and you can see they had some pretty widespread snowfall throughout a lot of the plains. Uh, the northeastern United States saw tons of widespread snowfall. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the 2017 October, and you can see it was quite the opposite. Practically no snowfall for the plains, practically no snowfall with maybe some isolated flurries leading to some snowfall in the eastern United States, but practically none there. And then we see some years like the October of 2016, where we probably saw a pretty big snowstorm. I don't really remember for the Rockies. there, a pretty major one as well as a West Coast snowstorm. And then we also probably got one or two snow events there for New England in the northeastern United States. Uh, that's quite typical as well to get one event or two up there for the northeastern United States with some pretty moderate events out there west. Very, very typical. And then sometimes there's years like 2015 where there's hardly any anywhere, uh, maybe one foot for a lot of the high elevation areas there in the Rockies, but practically none uh, there. So it could go either way, really. And then you can see 2013, which was also followed by a very, very cold winter 
there was tons of snowfall, pretty widespread. Uh, we saw lots of blues there, indicating a lot of lake effect snow there near the lakes. You see some areas near the lakes, uh, and then also some pretty major widespread amounts there for the Rockies and some of the surrounding plains. So a lot of snowfall could correlate to a good winter, but also here's 2011, which was followed by a very warm and snowless winter in the east. And as you can see, we saw a major snowstorm actually in October for a lot of the mid-Atlantic in the northeast. And this was followed by a very, you know, not snowy winter and very warm one. So this could be, and I guess you could say there is some correlation between a lot of snow and a colder winter. Uh, but really, anytime we've seen a major snowstorm out here uh, in the eastern United States, there wasn't a particularly cold winter that, fo that follows it. So I don't think there's a big correlation there. Either way, it is possible to see snowfall in a lot of regions in October, but it's also possible that really you see none, and that's not very uh, untypical at all. So here is our uh, forecast here from Direct Weather, the snowfall anomaly for the entire month. And this is basically your chance of seeing snowfall. So this doesn't mean you're going to see above average snowfall for the blue regions and a below average snowfall for the yellow. You're just going to see a below average chance of seeing snowfall in the yellow and above average chance of seeing snowfall in the blue. So for the Pacific Northwest through the Northern Rockies, I think you're going to have an above average chance at seeing snowfall. It seems like some storms could come through there. You could see average or above average uh, precipitation. And really, even though you're expecting overall above normal temperatures, there is some windows of below average temperatures that move through. Now in that yellow region there to the south and east of that first blue region, we're expecting a below average chance of snowfall because first off, it doesn't seem like there will be much above average precipitation throughout this area. And also you're expecting above normal temperatures. So you're getting both of the negative factors that would lead me to believe probably a below average chance of seeing a lot of snowfall this October for that region. But look, it, it only takes one storm for Colorado to go in the above average column. Uh, so it's going to be really tough to say. There's just a below average chance of seeing that happen this year. And then for all of the upper Midwest, the Great Lakes, and the interior northeastern United States, there's an above average chance of snowfall because I expect that we will see some pretty potent cooldowns throughout the month of October for a lot of those regions. And that's going to lead to a better chance for snowfall if there's a storm coming through at the same exact time. That overall is just going to lead to an above average chance of snowfall this month. All right, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Let's get into the comment of the day. And Falcon Doip, for the second day of second day in a row, gets the comment of the day. Uh, I asked you guys, would you rather have a mild fall and then a brutal winter or a very cold fall and then a mild winter? And Falcon Doip said, a mild fall and brutal winter because I love snow and cold in the eastern uh, northeast. And, and really, this is what I expected most people to go with. And it is what most people went with. And it's because you could see more snow, obviously, if you have a colder winter. But if you have a cold fall, it doesn't translate to snow. I know a majority of my viewers actually prefer the snow over less. I know a lot of you also prefer less snow because you have to deal with it. A lot of people that love the snow don't really have to uh, deal with cleaning it up. That's just a strong correlation there I've, I've noticed. Anyway, for today's patron highlight of the day, I want to thank you all for supporting the channel, but especially our diamond patrons, Alicia Davis, Mad Bird, Cindy Klein, Dan Hazard, and Mark J, alongside our platinum patron, Donna Carnes. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Again, be sure to share it with your friends, family, and social media. I will see you guys in the next video.